welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to do the math lab so doing the simulink for the two interacting tank okay so as you can see from the like from the picture there is one tank one fluoride q is going into one tank then q1 is entering into the second tank and for, from second tank the outlet is q2 so the constant value is a1 is my area a2 is also my area h1 is my height for tank 1 h2 is my height for tank 2 r1 is constant resistant valve and r2 is constant constant resistant valve for tank 2 so there like for the valve also there is also different resistance also there is variable also there is constant also so in this example i am going to use my q qt as my you know variable so i will use a step so my equations which are for my tank one is q minus q1 is equal a1 over dh dh1 over dt so q1 is equal h1 over r1 same for uh, goes to tank 2 so i re rearrange for my equation for tank 1 in terms of dh and dt and same as for uh, this one for tank 2 so now first of all you have to open the math lab from math lab you have to go to simulink okay from simulink then in the common use block you can see these are the common you know common blocks okay yeah for tank one yeah i'm showing you so i rearrange it so q1 becomes i replace q1 also it become h1 over r1 so this is my final equation so just write on a piece of paper so that you don't have to open again and again this uh, you know you have to see the file let me write on a piece of paper okay okay yeah these are the common you know blocks that are used in simulink library so now we have to go to our okay okay there is no step okay sorry we have to in continuous also we have to go to source yeah source okay in source we will get step yeah there is step okay just drag this one and put it over there so this step is our q this is our q like it is changing like variable it's a variable it's changing so this is our q step so because i am having q minus q1 it means there is a sum block also so q will be plus and q1 will be my minus so let me put some block okay some so you have to change the you know the sign by double clicking on the block okay change to minus oh sorry I have to change to minus okay then it is 1 over a1 which is my constant so i because i'm using between you know between the blocks so i have to use again not a constant so i have to use again okay because later on i will put the values accordingly right now i'm just put, uh, putting the blocks so then this gain goes into my integrator so my initial value as i as uh, i consider is h1 is 0 h2 is 0 so initial will be also 0 so then goes to scope to check my result okay now now i have to because my q1 is holding h1 over r1 so i have to take h1 after the integrator so i have to use the product block because 
my h1 is multiplying with my r so h1 is multiplied by 1 over r h1 over r so constant this is my r so it should be 1 over r as my initial consideration was r1 is equal to 1 so 1 over 1 is 1 so it will remain as 1 goes into my minus so it becomes q minus q1 yeah so again a1 so 1 over a1 is equal to 1 yeah r1 so 1 over r1 is 1 so no need to change this is my h1 this is my q minus q1 yeah okay then it multiplies with my gain gain is my 1 over a 1 over a1 sorry yeah 1 over a in bracket q minus q1 this is like for you know for if you want to calculate the h for the tank for the levels level of the tank and those who haven't subscribed my channel guys please do subscribe my channel okay so um for before you after you con uh, construct your block you have to you know press run and then you can visualize your result from the scope okay now because as it is interacting so q1 is going inside my h2 q1 is my inlet for my h like tank 2 and q2 is my outlet so again you have to rearrange your equation so and i am replacing my q2 which is h2 over r2 so let's do this one yeah okay that one is something similar exactly same so instead of you are using the simulink library you just can easily copy this one and paste it down yeah so my gain this gain will be become my uh, a2 and same i have to use integrator so again yeah this 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 all will be the same just only changing is my uh, because right now it will be q1 which is my uh, constant over here because in the starting my inlet was variable it was varying like it was stuck over here it is constant which is q1 only so it is q1 minus q2 so let's add this link link with our q1 okay yeah because i initially consider everything same as one so that's why it's up to you whether how you want to consider it initial consideration if it's not given to you okay scope and this one is my h2 okay and this goes to my minus so this one is my q1 so this one is equal to q2 is equal to r h2 over r2 equal h2 over r2 okay so this one becomes q1 minus q2 yeah it becomes 1 over a2 bracket q1 minus q2 yeah okay and this one is my h2 okay and again because my initial initial consideration for r1 and r2 is same 1 1 so 1 over 1 is 1 
okay yeah sorry yeah let's change this one also let's make 1 over a2 and for the upper one 1 over a1 so yeah 1 over 1 is 1 yeah so my a1 value was 1 that's why 1 over 1 is 1 so run okay okay if you want to show your result on one scope you, you have to use uh, called a bl block mocks and then yeah number of inlet is 2 so this one goes to my h1 this one goes to my h2 and then just copy your scope control c and then paste it by control v uh -huh. okay yeah link to your scope run and then you can see your result so my yellow graph is for my tank one and blue one is for tank two see at at time two you can see the difference it was something like 0 0.2 something 2 3 or 2 4 yeah yeah to four yeah so this is how to get the level of the if there are two interacting tanks in series so this is how to make the you know simulink block in MATLAB and thank you guys do subscribe my channel and if you need any help just let me know thank you